Hey guys, Retro Reviews here with my second part of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Season 2 Zords. And this time I'm going to be reviewing the White Tiger Zord. Here's the White Tiger Zord in his tiger mode. And for some reason his legs are deciding to be a little loose on me. So, here he is, his mouth opens up and down. And that's about all the possibility you've got. His arms can move, but that's for the transformation as well. And there's not really much you can do with his arms moving forward. Except for you can move his... He's also got these here, but that's for Tor. Later on, and that's the only time you ever use that joint, is when you're transforming him for Tor. So now... Here he is in this mode. A very nice looking... White Tiger as well. I mean, mine's not in the best condition. He's missing his battery cover. Why is it that both of Tommy's swords are missing their battery covers? Odd. But anyways. Here he is. He's got two sound effects. He's got the uh, black buttons right here. You push this one. It makes like a robotic roaring noise. And then you push the other one. And it has this charge up beam sound effect. So yeah, that's about it for him in this mode. Now to get him into warrior mode, what we do is we take the tail out and set that off to the side. And then we come over here and we turn in the back and then open up his legs and just pull them around and fold them back. Take the back feet of his white tiger, fold them up, and then fold it all the way back, and slide the piece forward, just like that. And then, come up here, rotate his body down, fold up the paws, and then rotate the arms out and down one. And then come over here and pull out his head. And there we have the White Tiger Sword in warrior mode. And then here's his sword. It's a flimsy sword. Yeah, you put it in his hand like that. And you can hold it, but it doesn't like to stay like anywhere. It's a good sword. And he can hold it. And that's about it for that. That's all his posability. He still has the same sound effects. Nothing else has changed. Nothing Nothing else too simple in it. I mean, he does have nice chrome. He's got chrome here. And he's got chrome uh, paws. And he's got this little chrome piece right here on the thing. And I'm missing one of the orbs, that's it. Pretty much all I'm missing now is that and the battery cover. So yeah, there he is. And now to get him in his... And now, for real quick comparison, here he is standing beside the uh, Red Dragon Zord, who is a bit shorter than him, but not too much. And so, yeah, let me get him out of the way. And also, what the White Tiger Zord did, and why the bird had the base plate on the last video, was because of how he combines. He combines with the Thunder Zord Assault Team, so everybody but the Red Ranger Zord, to form the uh, Tiger Thunder Zord, I think it was called. And so. To get him prepped up, we don't need his sword, because he gets a better weapon later on. Um, we take, whoa, we take these pieces and fold them out, open those bits up, fold around his hel helmet piece, and come down here, rotate that out a bit, and then rotate these and fold them out, just like we're putting it back into tiger mode. 
and then come up here and snap those pieces back on. And there, he's ready for combination. Now we take the blue unicorn zord from before and do the same exact thing. Just make a foot. Same goes with the griffin and foot. And then we plug them in the same way, but make sure the pieces that are sticking out of the tops, make sure they get stored inside. They go all the way up in there. So, just like that. He's already getting much bigger. He's right now much bigger than what the Thunder Sword would have been. Oh, and I also need to, you also need to pull the crest piece up. And now the last two swords are the Lion and the Sphinx. And for the Lion, we take off the helmet. We don't need that anymore. Take that piece apart. Set that off to the side. Take these guys, split them apart, and have it so that these whole pieces are facing this way. And then these pieces here where we stuck the Red Dragon Zord's hands into for Thunder Zord mode are going to go onto these black pieces here that are sticking out of the top of the White Tiger Zord. So they just clip on like that. Just like that. And we take the uh, Black Lion Zord, open up these pieces back here, and it's supposed to clip on the back like this, but again, mine is broken, so it just rests there. And then last but not least is the Phoenix. What we do is we take the, uh, we scoot its head back, and then these two little grooves here on its feet are going to go into the holes of the red, uh, White Tiger Zord's hands. So we just slide that in there and kind of secure it on. And then we wrote, we fold the wings around it. And there we go. We have the White Tiger Thunder Zord. Which looks really badass. And just a quick look to see how big it actually got. Um, here he is standing right next to the Red Dragon Zord. The Red Dragon, this is where the head was before, so now it's much, much bigger. Because the White Tiger Zord was just a head, above, a head taller than the Red Dragon. The White Tiger was bigger than the Red Dragon. So, yeah, it got much bigger. Even though we've seen both of these guys fight and they are the, at, in the same shot and they are the same height, usually. Yeah, that's all for this episode, or video, or I guess, I don't know, sure, it's an episode. Um, well, hey, Tiger Thunder Zord, I hope you guys like this video review, I'm, like I said, uh, way back before, I've gotten plenty more new stuff from Power Rangers line, toy line, so, uh, this is not the last review you're gonna be seeing in a while, so, of Power Ranger stuff coming up, so, Hope you guys like this video review, and I hope you guys would like the future ones that are going to come out, and I will see you next time.